What's up guys, Justin here with our weekend pickups and I know some of you probably saw the Facebook status I posted the other day about the uh, RPG score from the Goodwill. I know some of you are probably pretty anxious to see what we picked up. I'm very anxious to show it myself but I'm actually going to save that stuff for our next video uh, which should be uploaded relatively soon after this one. I don't think it's going to be like a week or anything like that and uh, it wasn't like a once in a lifetime score <laughs> or anything but I did pick up quite a few quality titles but I'm going to get what, uh, right into what we picked up last weekend and didn't bring the camera out with us to the garage sale so I didn't get any video footage for you guys to check out. I do apologize for that, but I'll definitely bring the camera out with us uh, this next weekend and get some footage. But we started out Friday, uh, hit up a few sales in my neighborhood and uh, didn't find anything. And then we headed out to the next town over from us, actually, about a 15 minute drive to a sale that was advertising a PlayStation 2 and games along with uh, Wii and Xbox 360 games. We got there a little bit early, had to wait for them to open, but we walked up there and they had a big box of games, and mostly 360 games, but mixed in there were some original Xbox games, uh, PS2, and some Wii games and stuff. But they were all marked for either three or five dollars a piece. And honestly, I don't think there was a single game in there that I would have even paid like three dollars for. Um, and it's funny because they, they weren't all sports games or anything like that, but they were just all like crappy movie titles, you know, like um, Night at the Museum, like The Golden Compass, and stuff like that. So I didn't end up picking up any of the games. Uh, before we left, I did ask the lady about the uh, PS2 system she had advertised, and she hadn't even brought it out yet. Um, she was asking forty dollars for it though, so <laughs> I pretty much lost all hope for this garage sale. But she asked me what I'd be willing to pay for it. Uh, I told her I'd give her twenty dollars, and uh, surprisingly, she did accept that. So she ran in the house and got it for me. Ended up being a pretty good deal. We got a PS2 fat system here. It came with uh, both of the cords and uh, two controllers. Um, this one here is actually a PS1 DualShock controller and a PS2 original controller. Um, she said this one didn't work though, and it doesn't sound like it's gonna work, but not a big deal. Twenty dollars is still a good deal on that, and uh, it was definitely worth the drive. So we headed back into uh, our town and stopped at a few more sales uh, without any luck. But the next sale we found stuff at ended up being the biggest score of the weekend, probably. Uh, we almost didn't even stop at the sale, though, to be honest, because we were driving by. It just started raining. Um, it was on a busier street that didn't have any parking or anything on the street. And I had recognized the house as a sale that Ryan and I had actually went to last year. And the only reason I stopped this time is because I remember last year Ryan and I picked up two factory sealed PS1 games from this sale. So basically I just dropped my cousin off in front, uh, he ran up there, he was just going to ask about games and he looks for DVDs and stuff. And 30 seconds later I get a text from him that says, dude get in here. And so I, I hustled over there and the first thing I saw was this box of N64 stuff here. I saw the, uh, the yellow cartridge here, I was like sweet Donkey Kong 64, system's probably got the expansion pack in it. And uh, it didn't end up being that great, but it was still a great, great deal. Um, so I'll show you guys the games I picked up. Um, this first one didn't end up being Donkey Kong 64, it's actually Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, which is still a cool find, it's not one I run into all the time, and it's a really fun game. We also got Cruisin' World, Wheel of Fortune, NASCAR 99, and uh, World Driver Championship, and I'm not sure if I have this one yet. There's also three controllers in here. Um, this one here literally has the loosest joystick I've ever seen on an N64 controller. Most people would give up on them long before they get that bad. But they did have um, one great controller in here with basically a like new joystick. And then uh, this black controller here with uh, a used joystick, but it should still work fine. Uh, both the adapters are in here for the system, and then of course the uh, system itself here which as you can see that whole bundle was marked for ten dollars so excellent deal on that um, you know no expansion pack or anything but still a, a great deal all that for ten dollars and um, that's not all they had at the sale they also had a bunch of playstation stuff i ended up picking up a ps2 slim system here it had a first party controller with it and uh, both the adapters and the price is actually on the adapter here fifteen dollars for that bundle which again i had no problem paying that was an excellent deal and uh, they actually had some PlayStation 1 stuff at this sale as well. Uh, they had a PS1 system for $5, um, which is a decent deal, but you guys know I have plenty of extra PS1 systems at the moment. I think it was missing the, the cables anyway, it just had a controller, so I passed on that. But they did have some uh, PS1 stuff priced individually. I picked up a couple memory cards here for a uh, dollar a piece. And then they had a stack of games that they were all priced at a dollar a piece as well. Most of them were just like loose discs and stuff like that. But I did pick up uh, four games here that I thought were I got for a really nice deal. We got Ape Escape. This is one I didn't have. Um, it looks pretty unique. I've never played it before, but happy to add that one to the collection. Uh, Spyro the Dragon, which is always a good deal for a dollar, even if it is greatest hits. Uh, another unique looking game here, Creatures Raised in Space. I have never heard of this game before, but it looks pretty cool. And this last one here I mainly just picked up for Ryan. Um, Burst Trick Wakeboarding? Not sure how to pronounce that. 
Uh, this is one I just figured he'd pay a dollar for because I, I know he didn't have it. Um, this is one of those games though where you know if, if there's one crack in the case, I probably would have passed on it for a dollar. But it, it looks pretty nice, so pick that one up. I think the total for all that ended up being like thirty-one dollars. The guy said just give me even thirty, um, so I did that, and I thought that was a pretty amazing deal. Definitely the uh, the best score of the weekend at the garage sales, anyway. So we were kind of over by the uh, St. Vincent de Paul. We figured we should probably stop in there, and I'm very glad that we did. <laughs> Walked back to the electronics section and found a uh, black GameCube, and uh, it was a complete system. It did have uh, both the adapters with it here, power adapter and the uh, AV cord, and it had the uh, matching black controller as well. And that whole bundle there was only marked for uh, $8.50, which I was perfectly willing to pay, uh, but the icing on the cake came when I opened up the system. Uh, there is a game in here, and <laughs> it's a pretty nice game. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I'm pretty sure this is the one that came with the uh, the Master Quest on it as well. Obviously, you know, I wish I had the case and manual. This is one I'm still looking for for uh, my collection. But even still, I'm pretty sure this is like a $25 disc alone. So that was the icing on the cake there. Uh, very happy we stopped into the Vinnies. And I believe that was all we got for uh, Friday. And we started out Saturday kind of the same way. Hit up a few sales in my neighborhood, didn't find anything. And then we headed out to the subdivision sale that had advertised like 20 different garage sales. And I don't know if we just got there a little bit too early or what, but I think we only ended up seeing and stopping at like eight sales, eight or nine sales, um, and didn't find anything until our very last sale we stopped at. Um, they had some PS2 stuff and some PSP games, but they're all sports games, literally every single one of them. They did have a couple original Game Boy games there though, and I got these for 50 cents a piece. We got uh, Mickey's Ultimate Challenge and uh, Capcom, or Disney's Tailspin by Capcom. And these were two that I don't think I had yet, so to get them for 50 cents a piece, uh, at least it wasn't a total strikeout at that particular subdivision sale. But we headed back into our town and ended up at a sale that had mostly closed stuff, so we weren't expecting to find much, but I did see these when we walked up there. Um, these are uh, rechargeable battery packs for the Wii, and I was ecstatic to see these there because I can't tell you guys how many batteries I waste on Wii remotes and I think the problem with the Wii remotes is you know I'll use the, the remote to turn the system on I'll throw something on Netflix and then the con controller just sits on for another two or three minutes or whatever it is just wasting the battery and honestly half the time I don't even mean to turn the controller on I'll go to pick it up to move it and I'll hit the A button by accident and then it just sits there for two or three minutes wasting the battery so these were two dollars a piece they're both brand new I'm definitely gonna open these definitely gonna use them and they're definitely gonna pay themselves off within a week I can guarantee that so I was very happy to get those and then at one of the last sales we stopped at for the day it was actually one that I remember going to last year as well and picking up a, a PlayStation 1 game or two it was nothing great but this time they did have a couple more PlayStation 2 games these were a dollar a piece we got Ty the Tasmanian Tiger I believe this one is complete and then this one, I believe, is Mission Emanuel, but it's uh, Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy. That was really all the game stuff they had, but for a dollar a piece, I thought those were a pretty good deal. And then at the very last sale we stopped at for the day, we walked up there, and um, I saw this. It was the only video game they had. Got pretty excited <laughs> until I opened up the case and realized that there was no game in it. Um, so I let the guy know that there was no game in it, and he was just going to throw it away. So I told him I'd give him a quarter for the case, uh, just to have an extra case of manual. And... Uh, so if anyone's looking for the case and manual for this game for whatever reason, um, hit me up. We'll work something out. Uh, but anyway, I believe that was all we got uh, for the weekend. I'd say it was a pretty successful weekend. It wasn't you know, overly great by any means. Um, but that uh, RPG score from the Goodwill <laughs> really uh, made up for it. So expect that coming in the next video, hopefully within the next uh, few days anyway. I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. And uh, until next time, take care.